gosh, just so good. So, so good. my steel plate fell down. I'm gonna go put it back up. What's up guys and welcome back to the John Q channel. Thanks so much for watching. In today's video, I'll be shooting for the first time a full magazine through the Staccato CS. And if you know me at all, if you've seen this channel, you know that I love Staccatos. I'll be going through the shootability, how it feels, and if you should actually buy this and carry for yourself. But before we do that, I wanna make sure that you guys know you have a chance to win this Staccato CS, like this exact one. And no, this is not a joke. People keep asking me if this is a real thing, and it is. Yes, you guys can actually have a chance to win this Takato CS. So the way to enter is this, follow these instructions right here. All you have to do is go to go.getentertowin.com slash johnnyq. On that website, fill out the information and also buy a collectible. When you buy a collectible, you are now entered to win this Takato CS. But who wouldn't want to sign up and potentially win this $3,000 Staccato? So again, make sure to click the link down below in the description or just follow these rules here and make sure to enter before the end of March because it does end end of March. All right, guys, let's get back to the video. Okay, first things first. Uh, it's Staccato, so you're going to get that manual safety, right? Now, if you like the manual safety, cool. If you don't, cool. To be pretty honest, I don't like manual safeties on my pistols. So it's like, well... Does it bother me? No. And guess what? You can also just turn that manual safety off. So every time you pull it out, you're resting your thumb on that safety. Is that something you want to do? I don't really know. It's just preference at that point. But for me, it doesn't make a big deal, but I know some people it does make or break the pistol. I mean, this is pretty much an exact replica of my Staccato P and it's really not that different. I also love that it has the flat trigger and the trigger itself is about four to four and a half pounds of a trigger press. Here is pretty much the wall and take up and break. Okay, let's see what the reset's like. It's very fast, very crisp, and then up to the wall, break. And that is the trigger on the Staccato CS. The CS comes chambered in nine millimeter and it's a 16 plus one. The trigger is a four to four and a half pound. It's got a crisp and clean single action pull. The barrel is a 3.5 inch bull barrel. It's also available in stainless steel and DLC. The weight without an optic and no magazine is about 23 ounces. The frame is built from an aluminum 7075 and it's a billet precision machined aluminum frame. The recoil system is a 3.5 inch tool or less all new fully captured Dawson Precision recoil system. And of course it comes with two steel 16 round magazines, which is just like the Staccato P and every other Staccato, but still holds true to that Staccato feel that we all know and love. I will say when you eject the magazine and go to enter, it's a very smooth transaction. The way it goes in, the way it goes out, I mean, it does feel different. It doesn't feel like a normal Staccato. It also doesn't feel like a regular polymer pistol which is something that I found unique and I did love. So that's something to take note of, but I just love the way a magazine can eject from the grip and inserting it back in there. That to me is just satisfying. I think it's really tactical. I love doing that. So also please do take note, if you're going to insert the steel magazine, make sure you really seat it in there because if you don't seat it, it's going to look like this. If you don't seat it properly, it's going to look like that and nobody wants that because at some point it will just fall and you'll miss your shots and you won't have any more rounds to shoot at the bad guy with or your target or steel target. <laughs> so make sure you're properly indexing and seating the magazine into the staccato. I know it's really weird to say, but I found myself that even just like that, if I don't put enough pressure on it, it won't go all the way in. So you need all that pressure going up, make sure it gets properly seated my steel plate fell down. 
I'm going to go put it back up. <laughs> the CS comes optic ready, so you can put an optic if you want. The downside from that, though, is that you will have to order an optic plate that will fit an RMR or any kind of optic you may want to put on there. I believe the price for that plate is roughly like 100 to 120 depending on where you get it. But on the Staccato site, it's about, it's over 100 bucks. So that is kind of a downside as well. I mean, I mean, I'm a fan of that. I mean, I don't know. I can be in. Sometimes I'm a fan of the manual safety. I do like playing with it. That's what she said. But I don't know. It's, it's just there. It's good to have. I mean, man, it's just a good shooting little pistol. You can also attach a light on here if you want. I'd probably go with something like the TLR 7 Sub by Streamlight. It's small, compact. I believe it's 500 lumens. Now, the only thing that I would have trouble finding, I think, or maybe you would have to spend some money on, is a holster for the CS. So here's my dilemma. Okay, this is my usual everyday carry. This is the Sig Sauer X Macro. And then we have the CS. In the Macro, there are 17 rounds plus one. So you can have a total of 18 rounds, 17 rounds in this one. So does it really matter to you that this has 17 and the X macro has 18 rounds total? I do carry the X macro because of how slim it is. I can attach light on there and it's super light and very compatible with my body and where I put it and how I holster it. I will say that the Staccato CS is slightly thicker than the X Macro, but I don't know if that really matters to me. Especially if you put a small optic on the CS, I feel like you're kind of competing with the X Macro very well. Look at the lengths of those barrels. I mean, very, very close. The only thing that I would say bulges out from the Staccato CS is the magazine here, if you can see, you can tell. The magazine on the Staccato CS comes out just a tad bit more than the X Macro. I do carry the X Macro almost every day and it feels so good. Now I have not been able to carry the CS as often because I don't have an actual holster. I just have the 945 Industries bag that I put it in. It's like a fanny pack that I use on my chest, kind of like a chest rig, but for the most part, I've not concealed carry the Staccato CS to really tell you guys if it actually matters. But I feel like it wouldn't just because of how close the size, the barrel length, and how close they are. So it's really, to me, it may not be a big deal, but to you, it might. So something to consider. All right, got a full magazine. Insert. Oh, man, that just feels so smooth. It feels so good in the hands. Like, the fact that it's just slightly smaller than my hand, and it fits and it fits so well in my hand it feels like i'm handling a a large staccato p and to me that, that's all i ever want that's all i ever want i want to feel like i'm handling a giant staccato but it comes in this small compact form factor which i am in love with man gosh just so good so so good All right, I think I got like 10 or so in here. Let's do it. All right, so here's my question. Who is this Takato CS for? I mean, you're gonna be spending over 2,500 bucks. With that amount of money, you could purchase two to three polymer pistols that are just as good as the Staccato CS. Would you need to spend that much money on a pistol that does the same thing as like, let's say the Sig Sauer X Macro or a Glock 19? Probably not. Which is why I think the Staccato CS is a very specialized pistol, not only for law enforcement, but also those who 
already have guns that they use every single day for protection, for everyday carry, and for range use. Maybe you want to level up your pistol game. Maybe you do want to spend more money on it. Maybe you do have the money and resources to spend about $3,000 after you get uh, an optic on there and the light and then also a holster. Some of the drawbacks might be that it's a hammer-fired pistol and not striker-fired. Now, is that something that's important to you? It could be. Now, it could be important to you when you're carrying for protection or going out to the range, but I do think the Staccato CS has a special market out there. Now, for me, will I carry the Staccato CS? Yeah, I will be carrying the Staccato CS. Gotta find a good holster for it, a good optic, and a good light. So the question is, will you be getting Staccato CS? Most likely people may not go out there and just buy a $2,500 gun for everyday carry or just for fun. I think it's something you build up to, you save the funds, you get a couple pistols on the way, and then finally you get something like this 2011 CS. But I would be interested to know what you guys think. Would you go out and buy this CS? Are there better options out there? Could you buy two quality polymer pistols with optics for the price of this? Let me know your thoughts. Comment down below. As always, guys, thank you so much for watching, and I will catch you in the next Johnny Q video. Peace. All right, we have to load this up again and go shoot a few more rounds because it's just a fun little pistol to shoot. I love it. I love it.